Installing Magic Lantern, what you're going to need is a Canon EOS camera. I've got an EOS M here, but it will install on just about any Canon EOS DSLR. A fully charged battery, an SD card, you will be erasing everything on this card. An SD card reader to plug into your computer and your safety gear, just in case. Let's go. Okay, fully charged battery. You don't want this stopping halfway through any of these procedures and your SD card. You wanna make sure you're in manual shooting mode. Now go to your menu and look at the fourth spanner uh, and check what firmware version you're running on your camera. For the EOS M, this needs to be 2.02. I'll put up a table of all the other ones that's on the Magic Lantern website of what version you need when you download it. You'll see that in a moment. So next step, we want to format the card. Make sure it's a low level format and click OK. Yes, you will lose everything on this card. Now we turn our camera off and go to the computer. Okay, so now you're going to need the internet and we are going to go to magiclantern.fm. That's the website. We want to go to downloads. Now there used to be stable builds, but now it's just nightly builds. There's only a few developers working on this and obviously they've decided to ditch the stable builds because the nightly builds they think are good enough. But you're wearing your safety gear, so you should be fine. Now, select your camera. Now, in my case, I've got the EOS M with a 2.02 firmware, which is what we checked before. Now, if your firmware does not match what's here, if you can't find a match for the firmware that's on your camera, then you've got to go and update the firmware on your camera. You'll have to go to one of the Canon websites to do that. Okay, so we're going to download that. Okay, it's not that big, so it shouldn't take long. And once it's downloaded, we open up that folder and we insert our SD card. Uh, by the way, this is the type of card that I use. It's fairly cheap and it works well in the ESM. You can get faster ones, but it's not too bad. Now back to where your download went to and open up your card, of course, and just copy these files. You need all of them those three files onto the root directory of your SD card, just like that. So it should look like this with your autoexec.bin, your uh, firmware flash file. This is a dummy firmware flash file. We're going to use that in a second, but all it does is tell it to uh, change some of the settings on the SD card so then Magic Lantern can boot up next time. And this folder here is the folder which Magic Lantern uses. It's got various data and scripts and modules and stuff in there. So leave that one on there. That's what you're looking for. Autoexec.bin, EOSM, um, your EOSM firmware file and Magic Lantern itself. Right, so eject your card and we'll go back to the camera. Put your card in. and turn your camera on. You should already be in uh, manual mode and basically what we want to do is go to our firmware version again and click OK. Now, it's important that you don't touch the camera at this time. Just let it do its thing. It shouldn't take too long. And there you go. What it's done, it's, it's uh, set the boot flag in the camera and it's made the card bootable. So now when we restart the camera, it will boot up with Magic Lantern. There you go, that's our first welcome screen. Normally doesn't doesn't come up, but now we've got all the Magic Lantern options. Magic Lantern is installed. Remember that Magic Lantern resides on the SD card, so you need to keep those files on there for it to, co to continue working. And if you want to install it on another camera, you have to go through the procedure again in order to set that 
boot flag in the camera. Likewise, if you want to put it on another card, it's best to just go through that procedure again so it's on a second SD card if you need that. And this is the Magic Lantern overlay. Now to access the Magic Lantern menus, you need a two finger tap on the EOS M and that will take you to all the Magic Lantern goodness in there. On other cameras, I think it's a, there's a, another button that you press just to enable that menu. I'll put that up on the screen for, for you there. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm going to put a link to a Magic Lantern playlist down below with more videos on Magic Lantern. And also check out my other channel, Biodiversity Shorts. I do a lot of wildlife filming and I make little wildlife documentaries. So please check that out. That's my professional channel. Anyway, cheers. I will catch you next time.